How's it going, my fellow collectors? This is Link's Reviews, and I'm Link, and today we have some Zack Snyder's Justice League Funko Pops. Let's get right to it. Alright, so we got four pops. We've got the Superman in the black suit, Diana Prince, Wonder Woman in her white costume. We've got the Sod and Dark Side. Now, I don't have the Sark Side. Dark side in on his throne. That is not part of this line. It is an add-on. So I do not have him yet. I'm still trying to get him. But let's get on to Superman. Oh, also if you guys like this video and this review, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, share it with your friends, because we're trying to get to 500 subscribers toward the end of the year. And if we do, I'll be giving away this child Funko Pop from The Mandalorian. So, first up we have number 1,123, Superman in his black suit. And it looks absolutely amazing. Now, I just got this in the mail today, so haven't even really looked at it. Alright, so he comes with an integrated base. He's in his, like, jumping, flying, uh, looking about, he's about ready to throw a punch. And it just looks amazing. He looks super cool. Like it a lot. Let's get a close up of him. Let's see if there's any defects. Oh, the suit is in great condition. It looks absolutely amazing. Although, can't tell if that's meant to look like that or not. It almost looks like his left arm is slightly popping out slightly. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. His head turns. I love that he's not a bobblehead. Hand paint is in good uh, condition. There's no paint fade for between or paint transfer between his hair and skin or his skin and hair. Again, there's always for some reason dust on these pops. I don't know why. But I love the texture of his suit. Super cool. I like it a lot. 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Or if that's, that arm is not meant to be like that, a 9 out of 10. It looks absolutely amazing. <coughs> Man, I can't wait till all these symptoms of the flu are gone. It's going to be really nice when it's gone. Alright, so next up we have number 1124, Diana Prince. In her white uh, costume type thing. Oh wait, no, this is when she's picking up the, the arrow from that, um, uh, that temple. I remember now. She's got the arrow in her head. <laughs> and let's get it open. So she does not come with an integrated base, but she does come with a base, which is great. Because uh, I like that a lot, because I don't like it when they don't have a base. Alright, so here we have Diana. Whoa. What the heck? Okay, that must have just been my hand that was starting to knock it over. It looks, she looks super good. I like the clean cut. I like that they didn't choose to do like a Wonder Woman, because already the regular Justice League movie Funko Pops already had a Wonder Woman. <coughs> I'm sorry I'm coughing so much, guys. And gals. It looks so cool. Although there is some paint transfer from the skin tone of her hand onto the arrow, which is not good. And also, I'm seeing some skin tone transfer onto the hair, which is disappointing because that area, for some reason, is the most complicated area for them to get right, is the hairline for the paint transfer. I've noticed that almost every pop, if there's a paint transfer issue, it's on the hairline. So you might want to pay attention to that when you get this pop, if you get it in store, if you get it online going to be a bit more tougher of an issue. But she looks good behind. Uh, besides that, so this is an 8 out of 10. I'm glad I got them. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you got any of these pops, or if my review helped you decide to get these pops or not. I always try to respond to comments, so let's get on to the next one. So next up, we have number 1,125, which is the Sod. I'm so glad we got to see... Uh, him in this movie because Desai is an underrated character uh, from the 
DC Comics Universe, the right henchman of Darkseid, always scheming, trying to one-up Darkseid, especially Granny Goodness. Oh, he doesn't come with a base because he doesn't need it. I also liked how we saw two different versions, the one made out of like molten metal, and then the actual one that you can see through the portal to uh, Apocalypse. So that was pretty cool. Also, again, let me know in the comments below if you saw the movie, because I thought it was absolutely amazing. Super cool. I like how his cape and his whole bottom of the body is the base itself. The texture of his robes is super cool. Super cool. Absolutely amazing. I love the texture of uh, the way his face looks and the texture of his costume. You can actually feel it. It's super cool. His robes are slightly flimsy, so you could flex these front parts up to make it like a flare almost. I like how he's got like his five fingers, but they're like two fingers that are like almost up on the wrist and his three fingers. That's a really nice added detail that shows that he's definitely not human or humanist. So that's very cool. Doesn't look like there's any paint transfer or defects as far as I can see. So this one is a 10 out of 10, which is absolutely amazing so let's get up to the big boss of this funko pop haul the absolute bad guy that we wish we could see in the next Zack snyder just like we know it's probably not going to happen but we can hope that it will so let's check it out and it's our boy 1126 dark side it looks absolutely amazing i am hoping that they added the detail of the scar on his neck which would be pretty cool you know, the whole reason why Darkseid wears armor now is because Ares battle axe and cut into him. I like that detail. I like it came to this planet thinking, I'm not going to need armor. Leave the planet. I should probably wear armor now. Or he wears it to hide the scar and hide his disgrace. That'd be interesting too. Super cool. He is a big boy. He does not come with a base though. That is... Slightly worrying, but it looks like he stands up pretty well. Now, here's the real test. My shaky hands turning this slightly shaky turntable. Or lazy Susan, depending on what you want to call it. Ooh, come on. Come on. Don't turn. Don't fall. All right, you didn't fall. That's great. Let's see if there's any defects, because you look amazing, and I'm hoping there isn't. There is a slight bit of paint transfer from his skin tone onto his helmet. But you can't really notice that well. It looks like there's like almost like, it's like it's right butting against his skin. So it's just kind of like reflecting almost. His armor looks amazing. And unfortunately can't see any scar because it is covering it up. But his staff looks amazing. His like mace, his like uh, apocalyptic mace looks absolutely amazing. His armor looks good. His skin tone is like stone slash granite. Because that's basically what dark side looks like. In the comics, anyways, he looks like his skin is made out of granite. That's why his voice is so deep and gravelly. He's an ancient being, even though he's considered part of the new gods, which is crazy. Considering how old he is, too. Though they consider the old gods to be like Trigon, because he's way older. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I would give this pop another 9 out of 10, which overall, this uh, 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 line for me itself is going to probably be a 9.5 out of 10. It's a really cool line, and I hope you guys get it because I love the movie and I love these pops. Um, and these were absolutely a cool thing to open, and I hope you guys liked it. That's it, guys, for this video. Um, let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. And again, like, subscribe, share. We're doing a giveaway. You can also check out my other channel, which is a Pokemon channel. I won't be uploading too much there for the next couple months just because i got to save up for the holiday season. And I've got a whole bunch of Funko Pops on pre-order. Plus, next weekend... I think it's next weekend. Yeah, next weekend I'm going to a convention. So I kind of saved up my money for that as well. So, yeah. That's it for this video, guys. And as always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day and peace out.